What's up, money friends and the viewers of the tube? Today, we're gonna to be talking about Joystream and why it's a scam. So I've been uh, talking about this, kind of leaving subtle hits because uh, for a while now to my audience, uh, I've done uh, how to fix joy, uh, what's wrong with joy, price predictions, all the things that kind of give subtle hints to uh, Joystream and my viewers that Joystream, uh, you should avoid it. And now I'm just going to lay it out there that 100% you should avoid it because of it's scammy and just the team doesn't do what they say they are going to do. If we look at the kind of the website, it shows a video platform protocol empowering creators. And that's what a lot of people did. I mean, that's what they're kind of focused on. We have their uh, creator token. They have a vision here, which is bullshit. Um, all of, I mean, <laughs> look at last zero percent last week. Oh man, um, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, literally, they're not growing. Growth and engagement zero 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 zero. <laughs> oh man, we can look at uh, this creators earned. I'm the top one, by the way, uh, of this. Uh, I think I'm at um, the highest earning. I was the highest earning creator uh, until they decided to out me. Um, and wh what I mean by out me is uh, I created some content, I uh, put up a proposal, and um, they, the team decided to uh, shut me up, which is totally fine because uh, no one really uses Joystream uh, to create anything. It's just a tool to uh, steal uh, money from creators and their audiences. If we look at uh, the proposal that I wrote, we have it right here. I said remove Beho, Beho, a step forward for joy. And if we look at my price prediction, where I said that right here, that this was um, this morning actually, or this was a couple days ago, that I said it was on the what was that? I don't even know the day. I think it was uh, four days ago whatever the day is so whatever that day is um, I can't I don't see it on my screen but I did post this video a couple days ago and it pretty much said that joy is gonna keep going down they have no revenue stream they have no business model uh, they have no leadership and I explained this all in this uh, this uh, proposal uh, but I've been removed from discord from the ambassador program and they owe me money but they decided to keep it because uh, they're thieves but uh, if we actually look at the uh, the proposal here you can see that no revenue model and bidaho needs to be removed and I said I this is just some notable achievements I said earn the most the mo <laughs> most revenue highest market cap and I was the top five holder for creators um, of holding my token. And if we look at the spending of uh, the owner, you can see that the money is just buying up one creator's token. Uh, crypto bullseye, crypto bullseye, crypto bullseye. Crypto. So very uh, fascinating that uh, they're funneling money into one creator, essentially, um, and not all creators if they're trying to bring joy awareness. Uh, and I, I mean, I know firsthand that he is reckless with spending because he's, I posted a few times on my Facebook, like, can't believe these crypto projects are just throwing money away to, for me to do a screen recording or to, um, uh, buy an NFT. Like, I think he gave me like $500, which in the grand scheme isn't a lot, but I mean, if we just look at the numbers here, Joystream, I mean, it's, I mean, it just dipped like. A huge dip right now so you know that what's on the cusp of happening uh, people are going to just uh, keep dumping but we look at the, the markets here let's go back let's go down you can see that it doesn't take a lot of money to uh, actually move it so that $500 literally dropped it uh, 2% and if he's doing that to how many creators uh, they're just draining the the token but that's not I mean they keep saying that Creators aren't taking up a lot of money, which isn't true. Which is true, but in reality, it's really the uh, the council, the infrastructure, everything that is draining 
uh, this token price. So what's happening is, let's just put it in perspective. If you work, you know, you're long nine to five, working and thinking, hey, I'm gonna take my, my money that I earned and worked for and invest it into this project that I believe in, but the people that run the project think that because they also work on the project and they are working, they deserve your money and they are taking a salary. We can, uh, they literally have taken, I think it's, uh, they get paid at $9,000 a month for the council and that doesn't even include, uh, doesn't This is for educational purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. Crypto is risky, do your own research include infrastructure like storage doesn't include uh, any of the website the uh, the database the, the maintenance the developers um, the, the creators the software that is needed all these different things that are uh, that's just a, a minimum and it's only gonna get worse because as the price continues to drop more and more um, joy is going to be needed to be able to be spent and sold to hold up that infrastructure which creates a downward spiral of well, the project failing. I mean, we're already seeing that today when you look at today seven percent and this is not this is gonna get worse i mean I'm, I'm telling you guys now to get out of it i mean i'm warning you guys uh i've been saying it for a while the project is dead um I, I just troll really um, I was trolling them for a little bit because it's just sad that they have no business sense the council team are draining liquidity from the project and then she enjoyed that project is in a death spiral now we can see that it just boom and this is not this is just the beginning I mean it's gonna it's gonna get worse so uh, I would def if you're an investor in joy I would definitely get out with what you can um, we can go over my proposal a little bit more here so obviously the reckless spending, you can see that the NFTs, it's, they call it a platform to uh, incentivize and empower in creators, but it's not really incentivizing or empowering creators. Video NFTs, no one is literally buying these NFTs besides uh, the Beho. I mean, we can look at uh, NFTs. We can see the top channel is Lee Joy who works for uh, the team, he's part of the council. So making that money, stealing that money from the investors, uh, they bought this one creator's video, which was phenomenal, $400. And then obviously uh, the team is just buying Crypto Bullseye's tokens, his NFTs. Uh, and then obviously the Genesis, which is another part. And so th this is a, the whole team, I mean, right here, so how is this empowering creators? I don't know. Let's, let's put it in perspective. I mean, we can just <laughs> go exactly why they're not empowering investors. So this was, um, I'm the top selling channel for NFTs. I sold one uh, a while ago. Uh, we can see this by my post where I literally say uh, right here, Here's a post I made on Facebook about buying, making $300 for my video NFT. How long ago was this? Let's see. March 7th. So if I'm a top selling, <laughs> oh man, I didn't even realize that. If I'm a top selling channel, <laughs> oh man. And uh, literally I haven't done any, sold any in four months. That means no one is buying NFTs, video NFTs. So that's just hilarious. Uh, but let's keep going. Creator token, um, a token linked to Joy. So I had my token it hit a million uh, market cap and it just started getting drained. And I was like, what is going on? Why is this losing value? Uh, it's It shouldn't be like, you know, related to, to like to Joystream. And yeah, it was. I mean, they, they pegged their token. So it's like a staking wallet, essentially. It's not really, um, it's not really a, a creator token. It's just a, a staking wallet, essentially, that they can feed off of and hope that 
creators bring in their uh, audiences and that way they can feed off of them and continuously pay themselves and empower themselves and if we look at um, the the price here I mean it's crazy to think that like people don't understand this that no one is uh, buying this token no one is uh, wanting to be part of joystream because when you're in no one a creator does not want to upload to another platform in hopes to get some kind of uh, reward from it like creators create content so that they can get paid they can get recognition they can uh, gain influence essentially but you're not doing that with joystream you're not no one's bringing their audience to joystream no one's essentially gonna be uh, investing in their token because it's so hard to onboard and their their creator token just doesn't work I mean their whole system doesn't work I mean we can look at the creator tokens I, and I bought a lot of I spent a lot of money on all these creators to help them I've done more for Joystream than, uh, than the creators. But uh, if we look at here, we can see liquidity value, token value, 179. Uh, my tokens, Pepe, I have 200. Let's try and sell them. Get my whole $9. Got my, uh, got my wallet here. Ready to have this. To sell, let's let's sell these tokens. So such a good platform. Oh, something went wrong. Bummer. Okay, so let's uh, maybe we can sell. Uh, let's see, maybe we can sell seventy-five of them. Did I click the right transaction? Hopefully. Oh, failed again. Bummer. Let's try and sell uh, this TK, TKNO which, when I have 2,000. Oh, there's no active sales, so I can't actually sell my tokens. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Um, let's try and sell my own token. It says I have uh, uh, $4 worth. Well, actually, if I do zero, it says I have $8 worth of money tokens. Let's let's actually do 100%. Oh, it goes down to four dollars, and I will only receive a dollar. So, uh, what is that? They take 90% of my income. Okay, let's 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 see if we can sell and gain that one dollar. Because I'm not I, I'm not uh, staking. I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting it ride. Oh man, doesn't work. Man, this this platform is really empowering creators. Let me tell you. Um, <laughs> oh, and look at I can stake my tokens with this guy and get a whole zero dollars. This is amazing. What a great platform. Let's go over some more uh, things they are doing to empower creators. Um, let's see. If no one sells a creator token, the value will still drop because it bleeds out from joy, which I've already talked about. Bounties for creators. Well, when we were starting, we were having bounties, but not so much anymore. Um, I actually went over in this video right here. Uh, this was yes, this was a couple. This was yesterday or a couple days ago, like I said. Um, and I, you know, I was part of the joy stream. I was uh, a actually was a. Let me see if I can show it here. Maybe I didn't bring it up, but I uh, want to. If you look in the main channel, I was the uh, content administrator, and I was the uh, top leading ambassador, uh, highest revenue stream. What else? Top market cap. Uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. But you know, when you see something and you call it out they definitely want to hide it and so we can uh, just see that you know, I am at, let's go into the discord machine uh, 
Oh no, they removed me from the Discord, they removed me from the Ambassador program, they removed me from the market, uh, price market. So definitely uh, something to be said. Um, I mean, we can just go over, we asked ChatGPT about qualities that makes a great visionary for a company. And I just go over why it's not. Uh, no visionary, no, this is the co-founder essentially. Um, doesn't even understand how business works. This was his uh, saying that no one wants a, a grant, uh, but then they give it to a council member, which is, I mean, who's empowering who? Are you empowering creators? Or are you empowering uh, the pockets of your friends? Uh, because uh, this was, this tomato, uh, potato, uh, is a, Account, was a council member, part of the DAO, and they're just feeding his pockets and not other creators. It's kind of sad. And so, no strategy, as you can see. Uh, I said, let's create a bounty program. People loved it, creators loved it. Actually, creators loved it, not uh, the people that are part of the DAO. And I'll, some DAO members loved it, but I uh, said I should be applying for council. It's worthy of council uh, membership, and I denied it because I didn't want to do that. Uh, and you know, we can just go over all of the other things that he is not. Um, so I proposed a new leadership, and they, they decided to remove me. Uh, as you can see, that the concept of joy, the idea of converting joy into a bounty is not viable. This is Tomato's responses. And we can see that how many projects failed that are a video platform? I mean, if it's, <laughs> this is the funny part about it. If it's so crowded, that's a good thing in a sense because it shows that people are actually, it's working. Who would have thought? How many fucking um, projects have failed that are video platforms? You guys think you guys are gonna be the next Vine and they've closed that down five years ago? Nope. Uh, and then they talk about how the tokens are, 90% of the tokens are unlocked. But if we look at the voting, uh, there's half a million of joy ready to be dumped at any given time. And I, I guess that's why we see the price doing what it is today, uh, being dumped, because people are waking up to this project is uh, just one council member away from being fed up and deciding to dump their tokens. Uh, let's see. They don't want to do any premium features. Um, they don't want to do any onboarding bonuses, they aren't empowering creators, they haven't done a bounty board in forever. Uh, inflation, they have no idea how inflation works um, because inflation, they put, they, let's just put it out there. This is how dumb this team is. They say, they, they have this, this notion, let's say, that Inflation is only at 4%, which is fine. That's a very low inflation. But if you have a liquidity of only $1,000 and you inflate $1,000 worth of tokens and you sell those tokens, your project is done. There is no way to pull liquidity anymore because you have no liquidity left. It doesn't matter if you're minting 0% or minting 99%. If you don't have the liquidity to back up the project, then your project is over. So as soon as the investors stop putting money into it, the creators stop producing content, and you drain your banks, you're done. You have no money left. You have no runway, and it's over. So, I mean, stupid people make stupid things like this. In inflation, 4%. I mean, we can look at the council, what they do, uh, that they're being paid $9,000 a month. This was a weekend roundup, by the way. Uh, they made an announcement, support and moderation, uh, which I've been actually moderating and removing all the bots, but you know, doing the job of multiple people. Uh, update week meeting notes, okay. Weekly roundup report, wow, that's, that's, uh, that's you know, an hour's worth of work. Sounds like a lot, worth a th couple thousand, totally. Ambassador report, uh, have not been paid, n nothing. Social management, what social management? Work on a plan, no plan. Twitter management follow-up, come on. 
council related tasks, what are those? Uh, draft tandem blog post announcement. Okay, so nothing. Catch up on previous activities, so you're behind on work. Reading working group reports, so you just read and you get paid. Um, these are the major paid people too, uh, right here. Well, right here, mostly. Um, work on previous term reports and the council plan for this term. Okay, work on this term. So what are they doing? I mean, why do they get paid this much money for doing nothing? It's crazy. Uh, so he's, I said you should remove this because if, yeah, if there's no infrastructure, there's no video platform, you don't really need an infrastructure. Placing Gleave, uh, I've already said this works. Um, that's why there's a lot of companies that do it. We're just doing it differently. Uh, it's crazy. Um, you can't make an army with Bitcoin. Blah, blah, does this a lot. Uh, Hello.com bubble. They need to replace him. People have said, this is one of the council, this is a storage worker, distribution lead, and builders worker. Tough love, but I think the leadership needs to go. I think Genesis investors and the DAO really need to take a hard look at the future. And it just goes to show you that a lot of the people that are in DAO, the DAO and the team just don't want, they don't like the leadership. The leadership is garbage and they're taking this project in the wrong direction. And it's very, very sad that um, you know, it will do exactly what 99% of other crypto projects do. They have this run up and they have this go down. There's more outflows than inflows because they don't have a business model. Uh, there's no revenue stream coming in to offset holders, to offset expenses and liabilities. And so the content mints itself to death and it goes bankrupt. And once they can't afford to pay workers, uh, storage, all those videos are then lost. Their content library is lost. And it's just a goodbye George Juma project. Well, investors lose hundreds of thousands of dollars and the team collects money for being paid to do nothing. So, this will be my last video on reporting on Joystream. Unless they actually do something, but I'm guessing they won't. Uh, they'll probably steal my ideas, to be honest. Uh, I've, I've had the best ideas that everyone supported. I've actually removed, well, I can't remove them. I tried to delete them, but we can actually look at my pre-proposals. I uh, said delete. Uh, I said I would work for free here. Nothing happened from it. This was actually, uh, sorry, this was not the right one. Uh, let's do this one. No, I keep doing the right one. There we go. So this was uh, when I said I will be a, count, a, a bounty hunter, essentially, for the creators. Cool title, should be cool. Everyone loved it. The development is promising step forward, perfectly embodying Joy's commitment to reward creativity. This was major players in the game. Codeify, he is a uh, HR lead, part of the DAO. Wow, your ideas are worthy of council candidacy. Um, I love this proposal. So all things that people love, major players, creators, nothing happened. Let's go to uh, this introduction. This is me giving my first warning, essentially, of joy and why it's not going to work if they don't do anything. Uh, monetization issues, many creators join the platform but lack knowledge and experience. Current Jewish system, creators with USDT instead of imbalancing. Uh, joy price prediction, redefine the business model, improve user experience cost reduction, revenue generation, focus on core market, community and content, implement these long-term goals. Uh, pretty much Tomato, which we talked about earlier, said this wouldn't work, and guess what, it worked. But that is it. I am saying, and this was me trolling that they deserve 2x the pay because they don't do shit. Um, I was just trolling them, uh, literally said, but that, I think this has nothing uh, I want to this is I mean how do you not see this as uh, trolling I think 
they will work double as hard to bring joy to everyone. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, they don't even work. They just, oh man, anyways. Um, I, this is my last video on JoyStream. Um, I just figured I'd do a update from my price analysis and uh, show you that it's actually coming into fruition, like I said. So that's it, peace.